Hello everyone, this is Maria from mariascraftingcorner.com. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. Uh, it was today, right? So today is July 4th. Happy Independence Day to everybody. Um, we have this awful storm. I think I want to say like around 4 o'clock uh, mountain time. And... It was really bad, like the thunder and the lightning and the dogs were just like right beside me, all, <laughs> all piled up with me. And I'm like, I didn't pay much attention. I was working actually in some, um, in some things within my, for my website and whatever. And it was working and then all of a sudden I come here and it's not working. So I was trying to give it a little bit of a chance, hoping that it will come back. It just didn't. So it just popped back up our Wi-Fi, our internet. And so I figured, might as well go ahead. It's not a very... Hey, Donna, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I figured, might as well go ahead and do it. It's not a very... Hi, Lou. <laughs> yeah, I am on. You guys are so cool. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Um, and so, yeah. It's not a very complicated card. It has a couple of layers, not a couple, a few layers, but it's, I don't think it's going to be a um, very long video. And I shouldn't say that because I just jinxed it, right? So super, super quick. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Guys, if you are interested in being spoiled, just let me know. Um, I can start spoiling you by sending you a free catalog and send, just send the email to maria at mariascraftingcorner.com and I will gladly. Hey, Rosie, how are you? Hey, Judy, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Um, so if you need anything, you can also send me an email to that. Oh, cool, cool. What were you doing in Texas, Donna? Uh, and so you guys know Donna is on Facebook. Um, let me know how the connection is. I'm a little bit scared because, you know, we didn't have connections. So I am hoping it is going to work well, but I am not totally sure. And in case you're wondering, this is this month's, um, free gift. So if you order $50 before shipping taxes, you will get that beautiful, beautiful designer series paper, um, for free and I will send it to you oh how cool Donna is saying that she was celebrating friends uh, the 70th birthday that's so very nice Donna I love it um and I will send it to you more most likely it's always at the beginning of the following month just because like I mentioned it helps me with my budget okay guys let's get going I don't want to make this too long or longer <laughs> anyways this is easy in the sense of there's not a whole lot of cuts. There's not a whole lot of things going on in here. This is just a regular eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock. Actually, oh, I'm going to go ahead and score it at four and a quarter. If you, if you see the instructions, the instructions will say that the piece is uh, six and a half Oh my God, I hear you, Miss Judy. I hear you. <laughs> um, pray for me. I agree. Thank you, Miss Judy. Um, sorry, I got this con discombobulated here. So the reality is you're going to need a paper that is six and a half by five and a half. Um, I have not cut this one beforehand. I'm not even sure, but what we're going to do now is we're going to align the eight and a half um, side to, our, to the top of our trimmer and then go ahead there, align that too, and we're going to cut. So that leaves us with just a regular, ah, it's not holding, a little flap in here that it's two and a quarter and just a regular front, right? So this would be four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to put that there for a minute because we're going to score here in a second. This is a piece of nine and three quarters by three and a half. Okay. And this one, we're going to do some scoring. So let's start. We're going to align the long side towards the top of the trimmer and go ahead at that two inch mark. And we're going to score at two. We're going to move to three and score. We're going to move to 
looking for my cheat sheet here. Five and a quarter and score. And the last one is seven and a half. So we're going to go all the way to seven and a half and we are going to score. Okay. So now let's bring the bump folder while we put that away. I'm not sure if we're going to use it again, but just in case. So this card, this piece we're going to put right in here, more or less around there. We're going to fold this inside and glue it. And guys, I think it's going to end up looking gorgeous. So we need to fold this first score line. It's going mountain. So I'm going to go ahead and crease that. The next one, so at the three mark, it goes also mountain. And the last two score lines are Whoops, that's a little cricket there, huh? Hey, Kathy, how are you? Puem are you, hey, Joan, are you in Pueblo, like Pueblo, Colorado? Um, so this one is Valley. And I guess I needed to put some extra effort on that one. And the last one is Valley too. Okay, so this is how our card is going to look when we adhere this. I'm just making sure all these folds are happy. So when we put this in here, it's going to create something like this. It looks very good when it's all glued and then we'll have like a little opening here that I really like. Okay, so you see, that's the that's the whole card, and the rest is just having fun decorating. I have my layers. My recommendation. Oh my God! You're just like right next door. I did. Did you have like a really bad um storm? So Kathy is in Colorado. Yay! I think this is the first time I have somebody that's from Colorado. That's so exciting. <laughs> you know, guys, I get very excited about the you know little things. <laughs> And yes, I am going to use these, um, the design, this design is used paper because I absolutely love it. Um, and this blue and this copper, which by the way, I have to say it was not a color I felt attracted to. And then I was like, oh my God, this looks really, really good all together. So we're going to use that again. Um, I bring, I'm bringing my silicone craft sheet that I am training myself to use and I never do, but I'm training myself. It, I will eventually use it every time. So what I have here is our layers for the card and these, I, I do, um, I do advise you guys to do this first and then put the other, but this will take away pressure, right? So do the front of the card and the inside of the card first. And these are just layers, eighth, smaller, same as most of the time. Hey, Hilda, how are you? Oh my God, how are you doing? How's New York? Um, and this one, so we said this is, oh, you know, guys, I forgot to crease that whole line. Um, we have, this is, let's see, two and an eighth, because this is two and a quarter by five and three eighths. Oh, <laughs> Kathy, I hear you. I hear you. Um, I don't know, but Pueblo sometimes gets a uh, really bad, it feels to me anyways, really bad um, storms. So I'm gonna bring my Stamping Seal Plus, whoops, let me remove everything out of the way that I just changed. So hopefully it's gonna work with me. And we're going to start gluing our things. Yeah, we had a, it was pretty scary that, that storm we had, um, just because it was very noisy, right? A lot of lightning and a lot of thunder. And like I said, the dogs were like hiding behind me. It was, it was pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. Um, and I was very disappointed when <laughs> got back and, oh, we don't have internet. So that was not cool at all. Um, how did you guys spend your 4th of July? Happy Independence Day to everybody. Um, we really were going to go to my brother-in-law's um, house. And this one is not, guys, sometimes. Well, seems like I may be lucky. Choo-choo. 
when you don't press something. Oh my God, guys. Okay. So I am redoing this because I did not center that. And now it looks a little better. That looks so much better. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, and yeah, he had a water, how do you call it? Like a water, um, one of the water something broke and they were like, invaded in water inundated is that a word just in case it's not a word but you guys know i like to make my own words in english so there goes our fourth of july plans anyways it's fine we stay here and it's fine because that give me a chance to like let my food rest right so this is just a piece of white cardstock and it's embossed in that beautiful exposed brick uh embossing folder that i absolutely love and this is just like the other white piece. This is uh, two and an eighth by five and three quarters. And I'm just going to put this uh, piece of white in here um, because you'll see here in a minute. I just I like I like to use white a lot to kind of like tone down the card when it's getting a little too crazy in co color wise, right? And this is the last of the layers we're going to put in this card. And this is. Again, one eighth smaller, just, oh, 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 I'm seeing a problem here. Okay. That seemed pretty, pretty tight. I don't know why it's so tight. Okay, well, that happens. I'm glad I didn't push, but yeah, it seemed like, it seemed like it's smaller than it should. Maybe it is and I didn't know, but that will work too. Um... Okay, let's put this last layer and then we're going to work on that, on that, um, see I think this is like a sixteenth smaller, can you guys tell? It's just like, <laughs> like a tiny bit smaller for some reason. And now we are going, so this is our layer card and we're going to decorate this. I do advise, same as uh, um, I said initially, to decorate this first before putting it in here. If you're very good adding layers like in weird positions, then just go ahead and do it. Do you do you, right? I have to be honest, guys, I don't, I, I suck at that stuff. Like I can't, well, you just saw, I can barely put stuff straight when I have everything in the perfect conditions. So let me bring my little layers in here. So I'm going to use Instead of this, because of course it would be like this blue against that and you can barely see it. So I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to use that copper clay. And I really like um, how it looks. Again, it's taking me a little bit to... will be the right word. To soften to it. That's not the right word. Hey Kiwi, how are you? Um... To get used to it, this so this this designer series paper is is kind of strong colors, and um, I I have had a harder time like getting used to it. But once I got used to it, like I'm in love with it. So that's how it works, right? Okay. So first layer. Now the second layer, I am going to bring back the white, and I'm going to use the some of that DSP too. If you hear dogs, you know, you guys know we have a lot of them. I will keep asking guys if the connection is doing is okay, just because we just had that, that issue. And I just want to make sure that you guys are getting the rest of it. Everything on my end seems to be working well. So this little piece is seven eighths by three and three and three eighths. So the length of all the pieces of the first layer, the length will be three and three eighths. But same as always guys, don't don't ever worry about it because I will have all that stuff uh, included down below. Hello, hello, there it goes. Man, I don't know. <laughs> well, you're late, but I'm just like really starting. It's not, um, you know, let me see. It's, it's not like I've been on for a while. What is it? I don't know, 15 minutes maybe? Okay, so these are the layers, the next layers I have. Okay, back using some of that white. And this is going to go back in here. 
And I think I'm liking that the way it is. So let's go ahead and adhere these layers. There's a lot of playing. Judy, you're right. Judy is saying that some colors just have to grow on us. And, and, that, and that's totally true. It's interesting how your brain, I think your brain is just gets used to certain colors and, and you know, they just probably come easy to mix and match or, or something. And oh my goodness. But I do have to say, like I said, this one is one that is one of the first that I like the Oh, thank you, Rosie. I appreciate that. Um, Rosie is asking you guys to thumbs up and please thumbs up. I am really bad at that. I always forget <laughs> to say that for whatever reason. It's so funny. Anyways, um, I just think that there are colors that does they do tend to be, you know, our go-to colors. And like you guys know, in my case, I'm more the pastels and... Um, I do like earth tones, but I don't know. Um, it's, it, I think it's the color combination more than anything. Okay, so as you can tell, I forgot to even say that. I am using, ta -da, ta -da, just in case you didn't know, the Cheerful Daisies. I'm using the whole suite except the, um, the uh, adhesive, like the, the gems, because I... I just did not get it. Hello, Deborah. How are you? Happy 4th of July. I just did not get those, but we will be using the 20, I think it's the 20. Yeah. And I've used this quite a lot. The 20, 23, 2025 in color dots. I like this one very much. So we'll be using these in, and these little flowers are these in here. And I really like them because they are, I don't know if that's a word, but like feeling flowers. <laughs> hey, ooh, I don't know how to pronounce your la your name. Is it Jeanette? Let me know. I don't. It's not Jeanette. Okay, let me know how to pronounce your name. But hello and welcome, guys. I am so glad you are all here, hanging out with me in this beautiful day. And do I know? I don't want that one. Sorry, guys. I want these the copper clay and the reason I want the copper clay is because that will be too similar with this color and then I don't have any um any contrast right and that's kind of the, one of the reasons uh, or one of the things I like about layers is that it brings contrast okay so my stamping seal plus is being rebellious for whatever reason oh there it is maybe there it goes Sometimes, guys. So all I did was stamp here. Cool. Hi, Pat. Hi, Tara. How are you guys doing? I hope you had a wonderful celebration today. Um, and, and all I did, okay, this one is getting too tight on that end. Oh, my God, I can't see my eighths today. Um, All I did was stamp a few and then stamp off a little bit just to create some depth to it. But this is where I'm going to write my message, right? And so I am not going to put a whole lot there. And this is the last layer. Guys, I think we're going to do like a record video today. And all these is the um, fresh, uh, fresh as a Daisy DSP. And... I love these, so that DSP has that, um, how you call it, that piece uh, that has just like little uh, uh, pictures, kind of little scenes, and I love that one. It's one of my favorite, except the only thing I don't like is that have the Moody Mauve on the back, and I really like Moody Mauve, the Moody Mauve color, but oh well, it is okay. And this is a little, It's it has a little bit of, you know pattern but it's kind of muted and i like it because this is what we're going to see initially here so guys this is your card really isn't this super cute okay let's go ahead we're going to align these sorry we're going to align the score line so this first score line we're going to align it to the edge of our there of our um first piano and that's where we're going to 
glue this. I am really eyeballing it. I have not measured or not measured. I have to be honest with you guys. Um, but but you can absolutely measure. So in the end, this you know you're just trying to put this in the center. So I what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that there, and of course I'm going to bring my glue because it's always my lifesaver when I'm doing this type of cards. Again, I'm aligning. I'm a, oops. I'm aligning that first score line to the edge making sure that it does fold and I'm holding and now I think I need to move a tiny bit in here and same as I always do I hold with one hand and maybe and then I will put some glue in here and I'm just putting a tiny bit and now that that's kind of holding I'm going to bring the other side and you guys know that that's kind of what I do all the time when I'm scared that it's going to um, that it's going to move right oh oh well Tara I am glad that you kind of worked your um, utility room to help you I'm sorry that you have migraines my my dad used to have them and he really struggled with them and now see so this card is going to stand like this it's going to go like this and okay we're going to whoops takes a minute there and it's going to close like this just like that so we're going to it's going to open and it's going to we're going to have an area here to put our little message and that's how it goes. So our next step is we're just going to keep this folded like we did. And we're, I'm going to bring glue again. And I'm going to put glue all over in this panel. You can absolutely use Stamping Seal Plus um, because there's no moving really. You're going to hold this. This is already glued. So you're going to hold this and just bring these the other side of the card and close it. And ta -da, ta -da, hopefully that is our card. So when it opens, it creates these kind of like little fold. You can put it like this and it look fun. And then it has, it opens up like a little booklet. And I am seeing, I think something in here is not, so this one, I didn't put this one correctly. I don't know if you guys notice. Why did you tell me? Okay, I'm being lucky today for whatever reason. Okay, what do you guys think? Isn't this a super, super simple? This is your card. Now let's get go ahead and start decorating. And of course I have my little, my little um, <laughs> lid with uh, my all my little pieces. And let's bring them up together. So my thought is, we are going to decorate this piece with the white, I mean, with in white. So I just, of course, Judy, you don't have to give me credit. It is fine. It's crafting. We are all in here because we love crafting. That There's no way around it, right? Um, so we're going to use the blue, boho blue in the back, and that is actually the same, um, the same DSP, just the top of it. And we'll see how we're gonna put this. And let's go ahead and start adhering these. I don't wanna keep you guys too late in here. Thank you for being here with me today, in spite of, of the lightning and the thunder and the craziness, and in spite of being um, America's birthday. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out where does this go. Guys, do you have a hard time putting this together? I, I always put it like super easy at the very beginning. And then it's like, nope, good try, guys. No, not really. So no, no that's not, doesn't go there. Okay, I know where my mistake is. Find it, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so that is... Oh, thank you, Tara. I am so glad... Um, you liked it. Oh, really, Donna? No, I cannot. I cannot take credit for this. I, <laughs> ta -dun, ta -dun, I saw it on Pinterest. There was, but it's too simple to see, right? Um, it, to make, you don't need a whole lot of, of um, 
measurements to do this, really. The only thing is, and it's so good because you can have, you can cut these a little smaller. Hi, Julianne. Thank you. I'm glad. So you, I'm so glad you guys like it. Good, good. You guys have to like look me on Facebook and post your um, options of it because I love watching. I love seeing cards. That's part of one of the things I love, love, love about doing what we do here. And then let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to do this before I actually put some glue. It doesn't really matter because somehow I always work it. Guys. Okay, I think I see it. I see it. It's okay. And I know some very wise demonstrators. Oh, Tara, I am right there with you. I love this stamp set. Um, the whole, again, the whole suite is very, very beautiful. Okay, so I'm putting that one there so it's a little bit easier and I don't have to struggle. The only one I can't put straight forward is this one just because there's hey linda how are you oh my god from australia that's awesome is it too cold i have a friend in us in us okay it's coming in spanish in australia and um and um she was saying that it has been very cold where she's at let's see donna is saying that she needs to uh, a written in a video to do fancy falls uh it took you forever to get the the never ending card so this i have been thinking about these guys and, and you guys can tell me if it's a good idea or not and i'm pretty sure that somebody else has done that already um let's face it i am i am late here in the game so i am pretty sure again that that people's done this in the past but i have been collecting all my um Fold all the information and I'm thinking I'm going to make a book What do you guys think? I'm gonna bring my stamp my copper clay stamp ink Ink pad stamp and guys I found these beautiful blending brushes in Amazon Don't tell me this is not amazing um, Oh How beautiful Judy, I don't think there's gonna be any <laughs> fireworks in here because I have not heard anything and I am going to bring this beautiful and a small blending brush and I'm going to go around and I'm going to move this actually let me let's make this a little closer so you guys see how cool this is I hope Stampin' Up! comes with something similar um super easy to use uh, cause, but what, what, what was happening, and I think I have one here. Yeah, I have one. Is that it? I was using the daubers, right? And it was just not working for me, guys. I think I'm just too clumsy when I'm doing certain things. So see how much more, like it went further and I didn't like that. And so I, I'm like, there's gotta be a little bit blending brush and so yes i found them and they're on amazon i will have a link to that down below eventually i don't have it yet um because i was working and getting my stuff ready today and guess what then the internet left and i couldn't do any more <laughs> any more linking but that is like a lifesaver when you're doing small areas and the packet i brought i bought brought brings several of them and I'll show you, it has like a tinier one and a bigger one. So I am in love with those because I think it definitely makes, it's, it's a game changer. And so I, we have the top of these, but I am, I keep debating. Do I want like a light green? Oh, really, Tara? Oh, so what was your name originally? So now I'm interested. Um, I keep thinking like, well, I'll leave a little bit of, I think I'm gonna leave them white because it creates some, some. Um, if I put it there, it creates, you know, some, some extra uh, contrast. So the advantage here is that we just do not glue this to, right? There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and 
Let me think. Sorry, guys. So now this one needs to be up. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I keep debating. Okay. This one for sure is going to be all glued. So I am going to bring that one in here a little bit like that. So those two, at least one of these is glued to a base. And I'm moving this a tiny bit because it needs to be within the perimeter here. And then I'm going to bring this one. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I posted on Facebook. I don't know if you guys saw it. Some of you might have not seen Oh, theory. Yeah. Yeah, that's a beautiful name. <laughs> um, see, I will be I would be the one that pronounce it in Spanish perfectly, okay? No problem. <laughs> um I have been playing with Oh, I left it. Let me bring it slowly. So I did I have been playing with this and I just want to show you guys. Look at this one. Isn't this super beautiful? This, of course, is the um, Blessings of Home stamp set that I absolutely love. But I love the color combo between the Pretty Peacock and the uh, Wild Wheat and the Golds. Ah, oh, I'm in love with this card. That was like my inspiration from yesterday. I'm like, oh, um, sometimes when, when it's... A holiday our our office give us like the last two hours for free I mean off not for free and so they gave it to us and I was super excited and I'm like oh what am I going to do <laughs> huh what am I going to do right <laughs> guess guess yes so I did get myself busy doing some of that and now I'm gonna bring the other um, piece and if you've not used this before, you can use the um, chin, 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 chin here, these areas to put it together. Um, it should work, right? Like somebody with more experience, maybe it would work. <laughs> there you go. Now it kind of looks okay-ish. Why is it giving me such a hard time today? Well, guys. <laughs> ah, there it is. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. There it is. I was right the first time, Maria. Ha. Ah. Okay, so. It takes a little bit, but like I said, I have said in the past, it's like playing a puzzle. It's just fun. Anyways, no matter how it goes, it's just fun. Okay, and this is the other one. It takes a minute or two to put together, well, let me rephrase that. That takes me a minute or two to put together. Um, and it worked, look at that. Less than a minute, guys, less than a minute. And then here's the other white one. And that's what I was telling you guys that I like. <laughs> oh my God, Judy, you're so funny. So Judy, Judy is saying that I found the gold, and even before Christmas, right? I it, that is hilarious, Judy. Thank you. You make me laugh so much in these videos. It's so funny. Thank you so much. I did find it, and I was so so excited. I found it. Um, the the next thing is I have this hay there, and this is from Charming Sentiments. And all I did was um, heat emboss it in white. And I want this in here. So I just want a little bit like maybe there on the corner. Nope, inside all the way inside. And we're going to bring that and pop up. And yes, you guys know I always use everything and anything when it comes to my, whoops, let me see. Let me cut this here a little bit. There we go. When it comes to my dimensionals, Yes, you are so right, and I am laughing so much because that is too big. Okay, fine. I'll have to bring a new one. Where are they? Ooh, well, no, that would be unfair. Let me bring one of the small ones. Okay, I have one of the small 
dimensionals. These are all the ones that are provided in the um, oops, paper pumpkin kit because I save them all if I don't use it. Will that work? Yep, that works perfectly okay. And um, I'm actually in love with the ones they had this, this month in the paper pumpkin kit because it is the straight ones. And I know that the straight ones are... Um, you know, that we have the longer ones. Thank you, Judy, for reminding me that. But I love that those are like cut already in little pieces. And I just love that. Okay. So we're going to bring this friend in here. And we're just going to have that little hide there in there. Oh, thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, again, that friend of mine was just saying that it was really, really cold. And, and I was like, oh, Jesus. I was just keep thinking, you know, you guys know me. If I could just like get that one there to create some extra white. But I glued this far too quickly. So know that it would have looked great. But that's that. Um, but we have these one to decorate. And initially I had cut some of these to decorate here. And what I did was stamping and I'm sorry I'm not stamping a whole lot today I was thinking of doing extra stamping and then when I realized I had done it most um beforehand but I did some stamping in here and I'm just using boho glue and um the Cajun craze and Cajun craze I'm seeing my thing right next to copper clay and I chose the Cajun craze although they're in the same family huh and I did bring one of these and this is also in the stamp set. So it's just like a little um, stem. We're going to put someone there. So let's start with, I think I want this friend first and I want her looking that way, like that. Okay, so let's bring some glue. Okay, I, I felt silent trying to put the glue in here. Like it's very, very complicated. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, and now I need my little stem because I needed to really like cover this end in here. So that's why I want that one first and then this one that we're just going to put in there. In the end, if our flower falls a little bit in here it does not matter because it folds open right and so it will be fine I'm going off the edge I don't know if you can tell and now I'm going to bring these and I am not putting dimensionals I'll show you <laughs> because they do take some space right um, and then it's thicker much thicker I guess I should say. And I did cut some of these hearts that I got from um, the Charming Sentiments. And I just figured that we can put like, you know, one heart in there and like one heart here where it's white and just kind of play, play with them a little bit. So let's go ahead and adhere them. Sometimes it gets so rebellious, it's just funny. Let me see. Will it get lost if I put it there? Yep, it gets lost. So here in the white, it has to be. So I'm going to put a little bit of a dot. It was a huge dot, guys. <laughs> Man, just in case. So a big dot in there. And then I can not just bring one of these that are like that and put it in here with my I'm trying guys with my hay and I want it straight okay and now we're going to open and put some in here because this is completely white, right? So I think that it, it can take a little bit of, of color. And these are going to be just completely random. Uh, I think 
I'm going to keep them all blue. Oh, I say that as I am putting it in the blue area. That's fine. We can put that one in the copper clay area. <laughs> and then we're going to put this one here. Wish I had got more of these. Okay. That's the card. They said it's a miracle of God that it's 40 minutes. It's impressive. I am at 40 minutes, guys. I can't believe that. So, this is the card. Very, very simple to make. Let me move a tiny bit off. Okay, there we go. And it folds like this. And you're able to, again, write your message in here, which is what I like the most, um, is that you're able to write something in there. And ta-da! There it is. Now, let me show you the ones I've made. So the first one I made, I'm going to show you that one first, is, yes, you guessed, Christmas. So this is, um, using some, well, some of my favorite Christmas stamp sets is this one. And now I, of course, blanked out the name, but I absolutely love it. And so this is how it looks. And I left this in white here so I can write something. But I just love, and I love this tiny bit of yellow in the card just to break the the red and green. But I, I really, really like this card. Now, if you notice, this was the first one I made. And so I told you guys that I like got it, saw it, and started calculating. And I made a mistake here. This, this had to be a little shorter. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell there. Let's see. See, like now this is completely squared. This one is not, but nobody's going to notice, right? Whomever receives it is going to be happy with it. So Christmas one, first one. Then I have here, oh, don't let me forget to put some of those beautiful gems. So this is using, oh my God, I love this Splendid Day paper. I don't, I don't know if you guys love that, but I love that. I love that. And if Susie were here, she would say she loves it too. And, um... How about this one? So this is the Dainty, De Dainty Delight stamp set. And I stamped it in copper clay and just used the blending, the blender pen. Do I have one in the vicinity? Oh, I have one here. And just move some of, and just use a little bit of that same copper to pull the color around. And then this is Mossy Meadow. But I could, I could not spend a whole lot of time there because it will pull the red, the copper clay. Now, I, I said this in, in the past, and I don't know if you guys remember. I did another card that I used, the Moody Mauve with the Splendid Day that was in Fresh Freesia. And I thought that was a wonderful color combo. Like, it really matched well. And this is copper clay, and I think this looks perfect just perfect it's really close to the color for some reason when the paper came out and they said oh yeah you know it it color co the color combination is this one or it matches with this colors and I was like yeah no not really it, I didn't like it very much so super pleased with this one and then I just took different place different parts of the paper to create the layers I did use the same embossed brick I love that one um, this is embossed in copper and then just a little bit here and this is the same technique although I used a little bit more wild wheat in here um, oh cool Tara I love it so yeah this is I, I really 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 like how this card turned out I have to, to be honest um, well, I know it, it you know, it, it's goldish, it's copper, and it's, it's shiny, um, and I love it, but I, I really like, oops, that's kind of getting stuck in there. I really like um, how soft this looks. It looks so beautiful. And then this one is for a friend of mine that's here. Um, she just told me a couple of things the other day, and so I'm using this one oh tina i'm so glad you like it um this is using oh my god what's the name of that paper eclectic 
Okay, it's got eclectic in it. I forgot. I love it because it has so much paper in it. Oh, Tara, <laughs> you're so funny. You know, um, I did with the colors. I just order the like the combo packs because I just feel that I just didn't know which ones I was going to like better. Um, and so I was like, yeah, no, I, I need to s order just a little bit and see which ones I'm going to really, really push. So for now, I know like I've used a lot of pretty peacock. I've used all, almost all my boho blue. So like now I'm, I'm getting ready to make an order, um, with some of those extras that I know now that I'm going to use a lot more. So this is using that eclectic paper and... I love this paper and I am also using, it's hard to see, the um, the gingham um, that we had in the, in the mini catalog with the uh, country flowers, was it? Country flowers, I think. I love this paper. Um, I've used it, but it, you, you can barely see it. I mostly have, you know, used the most out of the very beautiful, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but this moved when I glue it. So there's that. Um, but I absolutely love, this is going to be where I'm going to put my little message there. And I absolutely love how this looks. Um, these ribbon, I forgot the word ribbon. This ribbon is the one that belongs to the, um, to the Sucru Suite. Uh, so this is the ribbon duo, and I just color it with the fresh curry because I did not have any other yellow <laughs> available. The only one I had is the um, the one that comes in the other color packet is that lemon. Oh my God, I always forget the name of it. The cheer ribbon, um, but I don't know why I thought. Oh, that's, I like like I don't know the texture of this one, and so yeah, this is. The last one so these are the cards for today let me move that Ta -da! let's put some of these what do you guys think blue or copper I think copper right because you can hmm I'm trying to figure it out because the blue they do they do come out just because they're shiny right Well, I'm undecided, guys. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds to see what you guys say. And if you like um, blue, boho blue, or copper, let me know, guys. I'm, I'm kind of going for the, co for the um, copper clay. What did I say? Copper? At least, did I say copper? <laughs> Let's see. I bring one in here like they're very noticeable hmm maybe I'm gonna go with the blue but like you guys can tell I've been using these quite a bit I like this ones very much these are the 2023 20, copper okay I'm going with Tara thank you Judy thank you Rosie I appreciate you guys um, your kind words so I'm gonna put this small one in here let's see my god sometimes these are stuck my look at my poor, <laughs> look at my poor thing it's like dying it's like you're pushing me here okay let's see hmm and I put one in here there maybe and I'm going to bring another of the middle ones well it's not working here for whatever reason so let's see if this works better guys I don't know what's going on with this and I'm just going to put it mm, here on the edge and of course you can put more <sighs> Oh, you like this one? <laughs> oh, 
Tara, you're so funny. Okay. Guys, these are your cards for today. You're <laughs> well, actually, you could put like, you could put yellow. Maybe the wild wheat, because the wild wheat is a little darker, right? But I think I'd rather put the, I'm glad I put the copper ones. The blue, I like the blue. Uh, uh, I don't know what you mean, Kathy. You said you've, you've used a lot of the boho blue. Oh, I get you. I get you now, though, Maria. Just getting these. Sometimes, I swear to God. <laughs> yes, I am right there with you, Kathy. Um, although, like, the gray grad, not gray granite, Maria, the um, pebble path, I really like this pebble path very much. Um, I, I think that they are wonderful when they're combined with their own colors. I think that one of the things that happened to me a little bit, okay, so the, I'm going to say this. Like, when I started being a Stampin' Up! Demonstrators, what demonstrator, one of the colors were the pale papaya and the soft succulent and the evening green. And I'm missing a couple of them. Um, and yes, yams, thank you, Kathy. And like all together, they look really well. I don't know if that happened to you. Like they really match well together. Fresh Free Show was the other one. They, they just look good all together. But sometimes these are these these colors are a little like strong and they are harder to put together um in my in in my color experience so like the way i see colors right uh and and so i think that that's probably why you feel that way but the the pebble path like pebble path is a color i really really like um i i've used some of these um the Moody Mauve, but I've not, I've not used Moody Mauve a whole lot. I thought I was going to like make tons and tons of cards with it because I really like the color and I don't know why I have not. It's really weird. It's interesting because really I thought it was going to be, um, like I was going to be using a lot and I think I've done only one card in Moody Mauve. Um, and, but, and the same with Berry Burst. I have not even used any Berry Burst at all. Well, partially because I think that the only, oh, yes, Julian, this one, I have to say, uh, it, it's probably my favorite just because I love how delicate this Dainty Delight looks in both areas, right? In the front and in here. I just, it, it just looks gorgeous. Um, so I appreciate it, Deborah. Thank you so much. So before I forget, I know I always get talking and talking and talking and I need to, let's focus one minute here. Okay. So let's do, yes, they do, Kathy. I completely agree. She's saying that the Moody Mob goes well with the Berry Burst. Totally agree with that. Okay. So we need to do our raffle for last year, last year, <laughs> guys, last card, last week's card. Oh my gosh, I swear to God. And I'm accepting here. And let's see. So this is for the card we made last week week which i already forgot which is the one jesus oh the one with the country oh my god that was a cute card um with the country um side in sweet a couple of things uh you can choose from the ones i do like in this case for today so you guys know i am not going to put in the raffle the christmas ones only because i um i make them early and in advance and these are the Christmas cards I'm going to give away. And same with this one, which already is like all well, dirty. I'm not sure what happened here. Um, because this is for a friend of mine. So, but these two will be in the raffle for next week. Another thing I want to say, guys, I'm getting together, but I really want 
to remind you that if you really, really want to participate in getting the cards, you need to pay attention. I, of course, I would say you have to come back every week to see if you're the winner. <laughs> but at least pay attention, right? Come come every so often and check out. Um, and also check your notifications in YouTube as if you're in YouTube because I um, I will try to touch base with you in the comment. Um, if you if if you posted a comment, then I can like reply to your comment and say, hey, this is the I mean you won, right? Um, if you are in the live, I can't do that. And so it takes me a little bit, it's a little bit harder to do that. Okay, so in other words, guys, I need to, I need you guys to pay attention to what the raffle is looking like. Okay, let me, I'm moving everything so you guys can see the raffle. There is one. And the winner is... Ida! Ida's not here today, but Ida won the card from last week. Congratulations. I even have applause, guys. <laughs> eventually. I will get there eventually. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, let me come back up here. Oops. There I am. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. It was short and sweet. I keep talking so much, so I get back to an hour because I was feeling like I'm, I'm not an hour. How is that happening, right? Um, but I do appreciate you all spending your um, holiday uh, day with me and having some good fun. I hope you... Um, have a wonderful rest of your day. What you mean, Tara, it's a good idea? The Christmas idea? If that is, yeah, it is a great idea. Like last year, I had very little extra Christmas cards to give. I don't do a lot of, like I send a lot, but not like 500, right? I send like, I don't know, probably like 50 or so. And so I do, I really, really like the fact that, um, that I just build as I go. So if I make, so my, my thought is, if I make um, one each week, right? And because things happen, let's say I make three each week, then, you know, times 10, it will be, so it's 36 cards I will have been done by December, right? And that doesn't count the what will happen eventually which is coming coming probably june july 6 when they're having that new um oh the raffle sorry i was all the time to talk tangent talking of my christmas cards hey i like christmas yes it's a great idea okay guys so before i go i do want to say this don't don't let me let me make this. Don't forget, there's two things. First of all, the online exclusive um, are going to be. Okay, let's see. There you go. The online exclusives are going to be live on July 6th, right? So if you need anything, please let me know, guys. You know, I will gladly, gladly um, assist you with orders or whatever if you don't have your own Stampin' Up! demonstrator. But this is super cool. So they are creating, I guess there had been in the past, like coupon day or bonus coupons or something like that um, in the past, but they are bringing it back for what it sounds like so for every uh for every fifty dollars of um purchase you make with stamping up i am assuming before chipping and taxing but i don't have the all the details um you will earn a five dollar coupon so and then you will redeem that in august and that's like bottom line if you spend five hundred $500, you will get $100 worth of coupons, right? So I am really excited um, because I have a kind of a an important order 
to make and that's going to just keep me going through August. <laughs> that's so exciting, right? Um, and uh, if you are not aware, the new the holiday catalog will be live in September. Okay, guys, I swear to God, I am not talking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. I I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Um it's been awesome to spend today with you and thank you for being so patient with me and my whole internet issue with the storm. Have a blot a little, little have a blessed evening and I'll see you guys during the weekend for our Paper Pumpkin Kit Alternative. Bye guys, thank you.